Hello everyone and welcome back to the Great Book of Grudges. My name is Nathan and we're back with another Total War Warhammer video. It's been a while, but we're finally going to do a mod highlight video, and a rather exciting one at that, because what's better than a DLC dropping with new Skaven content, than also a mod dropping around the same time with new Skaven content? Yeah, I know, I'm pretty biased, but let's carry on. So, what we have here is the Clan Scurvy Faction Overhaul mod. The Skaven are famous for their unending hordes and their under empire. But did you also know that the Skaven also have a navy, where a number of Skaven clans dedicate themselves to naval combat, Clan Scurvy being possibly the most famous of them all. So let's not waste any more time and jump right in. You'll begin your campaigns in the seas between the Badlands and the Border Princes. This is your one and only army to begin with, and you have no control over any settlements. Yes, this is a Horde faction, but more on the lines of the pseudo-hordes of the Vampire Coast. Before you switch off, don't worry, you are more than able to build up any forces and build up an empire. But being able to start in the high seas will give you the choice of going to wherever you so please. Also, you will have vision to a location in the far western portion of the map. I'm assuming it's because Clan Scurvy was based on the minor clan over there, so it's hard coded, don't worry too much about that. Your faction effects are as follows. Diplomatic relations plus 15 with Skaven, faction wide of course, and campaign movement rage plus 15% for all armies. The diplomatic bonuses will serve you well if you're trying to confederate with other legendary lords of course, especially since your main faction leader is designed to maneuver across the oceans at a quick speed, and obviously campaign movement rage increase for all armies is going to make sure that you're always in combat, or fleeing if you're that type of Skaven of course. Other than that you'll have all the generic faction effects that the Skaven normally do. Your faction effects are as follows, diplomatic relations plus 15 with Skaven, faction wide of course, and campaign movement rage plus 15% for all armies. The diplomatic bonuses will serve you well if you're trying to confederate with other legendary lords of course, especially since your main faction leader is designed to maneuver across the oceans at a quick speed and obviously campaign movement rage increase for all armies is going to make sure that you're always in combat, or fleeing if you're that type of Skaven of course. Other than that you'll have all the generic faction effects that the Skaven normally do. In terms of skills and stats, the character itself is mostly formatted around that of a Skaven warlord as far as I can see. Pretty balanced in terms of stats of course, and generic skills will focus more around melee builds more than anything. But you do have some special unique skills, for example, Warpstone Investment, which will allow you to increase the leadership, casualty replenishment and armor of your Skaven in this specific crew. Of course, you can also expect the usual increase of Horde growth, raiding and sacking bonuses, some powerful buffs to your ranged forces, as obviously Clan Scurvy themselves are a naval base faction, so it's only natural to expect them to be a ranged force, and finally a mount, a rotting Promethean, because Scratch needs something big to carry him around. In regards to specific character traits, Scratch has but one, Grand Fleet Master, ranged plus 25% for Warplock Jezals and Warp Lightning Cannon units in his army. Also bear in mind, as far as I've seen this also affects the other units specifically added through this mod. Upkeep minus 30% for Skaven weapons teams in this lord's army, which yeah you can imagine is going to be quite useful. And finally ammunition plus 30% for Skaven weapons teams in this lord's army. Have I mentioned that this is going to be a shooty playthrough? Because yeah I feel like I've not mentioned it enough. Of course, as mentioned before, this character is a pseudo horde, much like the other characters in the Vampire Coast. This is because Scratch himself was introduced via the Dreadfleet game. 
which is why some people stated that, well, we didn't really need Diaphin, despite the fact that she's obviously been implemented quite well. Now, through this pseudo horde, you'll be able to recruit a variety of different troops, mostly uniquely implemented units and artillery and so on, based on Clan Scurvy. With this being the only way you can recruit these troops themselves, you can still Empire build, but for now you'll only have access to the generic Skaven. This mod itself doesn't include any of the new units implemented by the Twisted and the Twilight. However, you're still more than able to recruit Brood Horrors, Mutant Rat Ogres and so on by building up settlements. You'll of course have access to the usual technology tree for the Skaven, but a smaller separate branch has also been added, which mostly focuses around the improvement of armies, casualty replenishment, moving, and also your ranged units. There's also a rather powerful technology there, which grants you 15 food per turn. It might be a bit too overpowered, but then again, you're not really going to be empire building, are you? With Scratch, you're going to be moving around the world and focusing with that. Obviously, to add a little bit of balance here, to be able to access the later half of these technologies, they're locked behind a paywall, a few thousand gold here and there, which might not seem like much, but it'll make sure that early campaign you won't be able to get them too soon. This mod also introduces three new hero characters, the Scurvy Deck Engineer, the Scurvy Gracier, and the Scurvy Sniper. The Scurvy Deck Engineer is essentially a Warlock Engineer. It is important to note that this mod itself has only been released fairly recently, so it is expected to see changes towards heroes at a later date. However, you can notice bigger changes on the other heroes, like for example the Scurvy Gracier, which is a hero and not a lord. This is a normal Gracier, but also has access to the lore of the deeps. So if you like the magic introduced by the Vampire Coast, now you also have access to this lore in Clan Scurvy. The final hero choice is the Scurvy Sniper. Following the same format, it's very similar to the Skaven Assassin, however it focuses more as a ranged hero, having a lot of buffs to its range capabilities. You're not supposed to have this character up front, but rather doing damage from as far away as possible, and with its long range, it can fire from extremely far away. We're going to take the time now to look over all the units uniquely implemented through this mod. This is the perfect time to see what's on offer, and also check out what their stats are. Whilst we go over all the troops, I'm also going to give my general thoughts regarding the mod. The Clan Scurvy mod itself is quite interesting. It'll add a new playstyle for yourself if you're looking for some new flavor for the Skaven. While yes, you are working on a ranged faction which is very similar to Clan Scryer, you're also working with flying units, monsters, it's a bit of a mix of say dwarfs and empire in a sense. The mod was only recently released and it is my understanding that this is the modder's first ever project so it can be deemed that Clan Scurvy is still work in progress. That being said, it's not like it's not any fun at all. I had my own campaign running through this and I had quite a lot of fun. Being able to just start off in the high seas and then just go to a location which you prefer to play at is a lot more interesting than starting off in a random port. Plus, let's just be honest here, Skaven with pirate hats is kind of cute. The units themselves do feel quite well balanced. My only real issue, in all honesty, is the lack of any other lord choices which could also have a Vampire Coast pseudo horde. A few extra ones here and there would have been quite nice. I personally also believe there should have been a building in these generic Skaven buildings which would allow you to recruit these units from there too. Again, these are my own personal thoughts, and obviously the modder has his or her own vision in regards to how they want Clan Scurvy to play, and perhaps the Graciers themselves could have been made into lords, it's more of a law friendly thing. Maybe those could be the pseudo hordes themselves, having a special right to be able to recruit them, or something like that? But all in all, this was quite fun, especially having some flyers for the Skaven, which yes, I understand could be horrendously overpowered, but then again, it's something I've always wanted for the Skaven myself on the tabletop, and we've never really gotten that. 
If you're interested in checking out this mod for yourself, you can find a direct link in the description below. But if you want a closer look before trying, I will be live tonight at 8pm UK time where I will be playing as Clan Scurvy. I like the mod, I honestly think that it's a different, unique playstyle for the Skaven, and anything that implements stuff like that, of course with me being very biased towards the Skaven, is going to get my attention, I'm gonna be very honest about that. And as always, if there are any other mods on the workshop that you might want to see highlighted on this channel, you could always suggest one in the comments below, or join the official Great Book of Grudges Discord, where it is much easier to get in contact with me. But with that my friends we've come to the end of our video, thank you so much for watching, if you did enjoy the video might I suggest giving the video a like, or even subscribing to the channel as it really does help us out. In the description section below are various links to different social media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram and Discord. Also in the description section is an affiliate link with Element Games where you could buy loads of hobby based products, not just Warhammer, for 10-25% to off. Making a purchase using that link and also our special code which is also in the description supports the channel at no extra cost to you, which we think is rather cool. A big thank you to our patrons, your support means the world to us, it's amazing that people want to help a small channel like us grow and get to our higher level of content. A big thank you to Gibraltar LUSC, Ryan Birch, Andrew Prince and Okro for subscribing to us at our fame level, you guys are super cool. And a big thank you to Edward Yule, VS Fasan, Aaron Whitman and Shaggy for subscribing to us at our king level, honestly we can't thank you all enough. And lastly, a big thank you to all of you for liking, sharing and commenting on these videos. Honestly, it's because of you guys that the channel has been growing at such a great pace lately, so we can't thank you all enough. But with that my friends, thank you so much for watching once again, and we shall see you all again very very soon. Have a good day.